Another way to subtract these mixed numbers is to use regrouping. So instead of renaming it as a fraction greater than one, we can regroup six holes into five and four fourths. It's the same as six holes plus the one fourth. So if we change the four fourths, we keep five and we put four fourths plus one fourth, that is five fourths. So let's subtract now one and three fourths. Now our fraction is greater than our second fraction. 5 fourths minus 3 fourths is 2 fourths. 5 holes minus 1 hole is 4 holes. So we have 4 and 2 fourths, which we can simplify into 4 and 1 half. If your students don't understand that way, we can think about it in a, as a picture model. We can use representations. Um, so here I'm drawing three or six bar models and then we're going to draw another one so that we can show the one for it. So we have six holes and then with the seventh one we're not going to think of it as a hole but we're going to partition it into four equal parts and then shade in one fourth. So we have six and one fourth. Now we want to subtract one and three fourths. So we're going to subtract the 3, 4. We can't subtract, we only have 1, 4 to subtract from, but we need to subtract 3, 4. So we're going to take one of those holes and break those into parts, equal parts, 4 fourths. We're going to shade them all in to show 4 fourths. We're using 4 fourths of that hole. So now we have 5 holes and not 1 fourth anymore. Now we have 5 of those fourth size pieces. So now we can subtract three fourths. One, two fourths, three fourths. How many fourths are remaining? Two fourths. How many holes? We can subtract one hole. How many holes remaining? One, two, three, four. So it equals four and two fourths, again, which can be simplified into four and one half.